Hello and welcome to this special segment. Today we're going to be talking to Chef Gagan Anand, someone who's known as one of the world's top chefs, who's brought innovation and creativity to Indian food. He's taken Indian food from comfort food levels and taken it way into the realms of fine dining. We're going to talk to him about his residency here in Delhi for the next 20 days, as well as uh, we're going to ask him if he's ever opening that restaurant in India. Hello. Hi, Aggie. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Chef. So Hi. nice to come, meet you. Welcome, finally, Richard. come, come. I can see yeah. all busy for the evening. Yes, we are. We are. We are. Uh, this is our peak hour of chaos. So <laughs> it's a good time. So I'm very excited to try some of the dishes before yes. we start talking about the recipe. I, I wanted. I prepared. Now the menu is very long. It's a 25 course menu. We are born in India, and I always, when I live outside India, I want to explain people how amazing it is to eat our street food in chaos. So you're eating the street food, there's a chaos, there are people rushing, they're pushing each other and it's really value for money and that flavors that you can get in the street with the... The world calls it pollution, I call it India. <laughs> the the, the <laughs> smell, the, the dirt, the people, noise, honking and you're still eating, you're just busy. You want to finish that thing and you want to enjoy it at the freshest bite at the perfect temperature and I think that is what I have learned and I've come from that memories and that's what I translate into food. So I've okay. selected from the 25 dishes, the most unsafe ones. Wow, what does that mean? That means I'm going to push you from the mountain and, and you'll be tied to my food strings and you'll be bungee jumping. So Okay, so interesting. So that's what adventure. you put your, all the diners through when they come here absolutely, and... Absolutely. Uh, it's an adventure. And, Okay, so we can get started, but also tell me why did you choose Delhi to do your residency? And this okay, is this a is new very, thing for you, okay, isn't I, it? I, I shouldn't be sending something on this television, but I had to tell because, you know, as I said, your fear is your biggest challenge to overcome. You know, there's a fear factor. Now, I left Delhi, and if people know who've seen my uh, documentary saying that there was this round chakkar, in front of the hotel that I can't name and I went up and down and up and down five times in 2001 and I took my bike to my home and thinking I will quit cooking okay. because I was so frustrated with this industry hours or whatever I don't want to criticize I don't want to be negative on the TV but that stigma in my head and then going and doing my journey and probably I did the best thing was to take that five rounds and go back home to reinvent my life at the age of 22 and that round chakra thing that I went back home and coming back after 22 years hmm. and doing a residency and not a pop-up because pop-up is not a marathon yes, it's exactly. a sprint yeah. residency means I am here with my team here yeah your entire hours. team yeah. here, here. Yeah. <laughs> most of them are back behind working and prepping around and we wanted to give my fear that I will not do well in Delhi to overcome that fear. All right, so let's take a look at what you have prepared for us. Okay, I'll, I'll give you the magic dish. This is one of the dishes we do. This is the dish that made me what I am today. And now, this is very simple. Now, we eat. I'm from Calcutta. I'm a, yes. I'm a Punjabi body with a Bengali soul. So, <laughs> so in Puchka in Calcutta, we had this memory that of when course. you put in your mouth or Golgappa, how big you can eat, right? So this is based on Dahi Puchka, okay. Dahi Balle, Dahi Chaat. Yogurt is our national sauce, hmm. right? Everywhere. There's no lactose intolerance in this country, right? Well, so, there is, but yes. I no, mean, there's no tolerance for the lactose intolerance. <laughs> yes. Let's say this. There's no tolerance for lactose intolerance. All right. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll give you this and you have five seconds to look at it, adore it. The moment I give you this in your hand, in your safely, hmm. okay, then I put this in your, in the center. Okay. And when I put it in the center, like a gold cup, you have to eat the whole thing in your mouth. Okay? As elegantly as I can. As, ele as unelegantly as you can. Okay, here we go. Okay, ready? And yeah, put the whole thing in your mouth. Yeah, whole thing. Yeah. I don't know if you can, the sounds are coming of explosions. And that's the first dish we do. We welcome people with this. It's incredible. Yogurt. Yeah, and it's now it's mm -hmm. bursting. Yes, I'm getting and it. Then, and if you look at the menu, the emoji is a is an explosion. The second dish is to break them from their comfort zone 
and make them uncomfortable so they can relax the whole meal. We call it lick it up. Okay? Okay, so you lick the plate up. Now, this is based on, look at the colors. If you look at this, hmm. and you can see the Shakarkandiki chart. Now, this is very, this looks like right, your, your, your I dress might code. Turn to wear now, this a is, bit to I, do this. I don't know why you wear the color of Shakarkandi, <laughs> but, uh, but exactly the color of Shakarkandi here. Enjoy, yeah. So, 25 years of, of what I put and 25 courses is... Alright, come, let's go to the and table now. The So, chefs, tell us about uh, how important is it to be a brand if you're a chef in this day and age? We're not a brand, we're a band. A so, band? A band. I believe you wanted to be in a band. I always wanted to be a band and I created my band of my friends. We are bandits. So, what we do is, <laughs> we are rebels, as I said. So, brand is when you don't cook, you become a capitalist, you become commercial, you become... And that's the reason why we didn't open Gagan as a restaurant anywhere in the world. We opened other restaurants, invested or made some easy restaurants, but... As a restaurant, I've never sold my soul. And that's exactly the idea of these residencies because I am here for those 20 nights. I'm here for those one and a half month. And I've been coming here since November, December. We've been coming in January so to understand. And it's a learning lesson for me. It's an experiment and an adventure. So we are not a, we're not a brand that just comes and does it and does do it. Otherwise, we have done... 10 layers of at least 25 successful menus, not dishes. We could just took that and make it. But why we are not a brand and a band? But is, you are kind of a brand. I mean, believe. the brand is, I, I still say it's a band because okay. we, we jam, because music is my biggest inspiration. We jam to create new menu. And that's why we're not a brand, because we're not trying to be safe. Brands are safe, they're guidelines, there's all these things. But we are not safe. We are in an unsafe zone. And we are ourselves playing that zone. Okay, that talking about the music, I believe, uh, and your passion for music, you have a lot of music playing when you're serving your uh, Okay, you got to try one more dish now. Right. Thank you. Thanks, Sala. Thank you. Okay, uh, now, this is kachori. Hmm. Now, Piaski kachori is one of my favorite. Uh, I used to carry Eno for acid reflex for my Piaski <laughs> kachori issues. So, uh, I wanted to create one piaski kachori, but with different elements. So what we do is we take onion seeds, which is kalonji. Mm. Then we add onion masala inside. Then we put onion chutney. And lastly, put onion and balsamic mousse. So enjoy a piaski kachori. Okay. The most ugly looking kachori ever. <laughs> but, uh, so tell me about the, you know, there's a lot of theatrics, a lot of all your senses involved in, in when you serve and music. So tell us a bit about that also. Yeah, I first want to see your face, how you eat. Yeah, the whole thing in one bite, yeah. So it's the full flavor of kachori. Mm. It is a kachori. And then you have the, all the elements of onion. Yes, I can get that. And onion is like a national vegetable, no? <laughs> Onions has... When yeah. price goes up, governments have fallen, so yeah. Yes, it's a national vegetable. Without an onion on the side of your menu, on the table, the meal is incomplete. Mm. Yeah. Onion kachori. Onion kachori. Yeah, tell us about, um, you know, what would your advice be to young chefs here? People want to make their mark on, you know, in the global field, so as, as it is. I mean, you know, what would you say? I, I think the problem in India is that whenever I meet the chefs, they wear chef jackets by fashion designers. They're on TV, they want to be on... Either you be a TV chef, like Sanjeev Kapoor you and can't Gunal. Be both? You should not be. Hmm. You should not be. You can't do everything. You can't be. You can't be on a packet of a label of a rice and then be on the restaurant every day. You did dedicate your life. My success is that I dedicate my life to my tables. And that is mine. I've refused. You've never seen me on TV, apart from a documentary or appearances hmm. to, to oblige my friends. So. I'm doing this as an as a interview. If I do this every day, how much energy I'm wasting on this? So what energy I'll waste on the kitchen? Hmm. Then I'm not cooking. That's my advice to you. If you are a chef, if you're a doctor, are you on TV? But I, I, I think um, India is changing. And I think you said your son. Maybe your son will be the one. Maybe the next generation. We don't know. I, I look at the new generation. You cannot change a current generation. It's like politics. You have to look, educate, and give them the empowerment 
to change the future. And the problem starts in culinary schools. Our culinary schools teach everything else apart from cooking. Our okay. hotel management schools, everything. So education system is wrong. We still find glory in mayonnaise. Ah, what are your basic sauces? So a guy has to talk about wine when he's not been to France. So those things have to change. Exposure have to change. We have to give empowerment to the new generation and upbuild them and not be threatened by them. And that's how. And teach them the ethics is to cook. Final question, Chef. Are we going to see a Gagan in India? No. No? No. Never? I will, I will, is that a hard no? Because I, or is I, that a no but you know, with a dot dot dot? I will come more often and do residencies. Okay. I will not do pop-up anymore. Okay. So I have overwhelmed and joy how Delhi gave me the Delhi love and gave me a Delhi belly. So, <laughs> a belly so in both ways, the belly in the okay, belly and the belly in the belly. Which other city can look forward to having a I don't know, I think a, a city where somebody, and I'm giving this message, if they can afford us for one month and okay. understand our tantrums to give better food and give us the uh, full autonomy of doing what we want to do, we'll come back and do it in any city. No, All right, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Gary. Thank you. Great. Thank you so Thanks much so again. Much.